Do you know the difference between red light and blue light? Have you ever wondered what is the difference between sound of a human versus a lion? All of these things depend on frequency. Even the power which you get in your house, the mains electricity depends on frequency. Frequency is the reason why you get alternating current. So today we'll answer the question, what exactly is frequency? We will see some examples and finally, I hope you understand how frequency plays an important role in your life. I'm Rohit and welcome to our channel Anand Systems Engineering. If this video helps you out in any way, then please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. So let's begin. Light, sound and electricity depend so much on frequency that if we just shift the frequency of light, sound or electricity, everything changes. Why are so many things in life dependent on frequency? Let's find out. Whenever an event occurs, we as humans want to measure that and we measure that using frequency. If an event occurs once in a second, we will measure that with the unit of Hertz. And Hertz was actually a scientist who was the first person in the world to transmit radio waves. Hence, we use the unit of frequency as Hertz. Let's first understand what is the difference between red, green and blue light. All these three lights are electromagnetic waves. If you want to understand what are electromagnetic waves, then please check out this video. Electromagnetic waves are traveling through space. And whenever we see an electromagnetic wave traveling through space, we count how many of these waves are traveling through a single point in a second. Let's look at light in general. Then we'll look at red light, green light and blue light. When light is not traveling through space, the space is stable. And whenever a light wave travels through space, it disturbs this stability to perform some work. A light wave has actually two sections, the high side and the low side. The high side is called the positive displacement and the low side is called the negative displacement. The maximum peaks of the high side are called the crest while the minimum peaks of the low side are called the valleys. And do you know what forms a light wave? One positive section and one negative section is called one wave or one cycle. The height of the crest and the height of the valley is called the amplitude of a wave. Red light, blue light and green light, in fact all light, travel at the same speed which is 300 million meters a second. But Less number of red light waves are traveling in a second, whereas there are more blue light waves traveling in a second. If you count the number of waves traveling in a second, that is equal to the frequency. If one wave is traveling in one second, then the frequency is equal to one hertz. And if two waves are traveling in a second, then the frequency is equal to two hertz. It's exactly like your heartbeat. If your heart is beating one time a second, then the frequency is equal to one hertz. The same way, red light has a frequency of 430 terahertz. Green light has a frequency of 550 terahertz. And blue light has a frequency of 650 terahertz. So if you just change the frequency of red light and increase it, it becomes blue light. Your eyes are tuned to the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. The same way is sound. Your ears are tuned to the frequencies of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Sound waves are nothing but just changes in air pressure. So if you change the air pressure 20 times a second, it becomes a 20 Hz sound wave. And if you change the air pressure around you at 20,000 Hz a second, becomes a very high pitch sound which is picked up by your ears. The same thing is with radio waves. We manufacture radio remote controls for industrial cranes. 
frequency which we transmit information is 2.4 gigahertz. There is no difference between a radio wave and the red light or green light. It's just the difference in their frequencies. All of these are electromagnetic waves. The mains electricity coming in your house is alternating current and that alternating current is alternating at a frequency of 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on your country. The voltage goes from 0 to 220 volts again comes back to 0 goes to negative 220 volts and comes back to 0. This is one cycle and this cycle repeats 50 times a second. We call that 50 hertz mains electricity. If we take a three phase power supply and we apply that to a three phase AC induction motor, then that induction motor rotates at a frequency of 50 hertz. If we change the frequency from 50 hertz to 25 hertz, which means we only pass 25 cycles of 0 to 220 back to minus 220 and 0. If we pass 25 of such cycles to the AC motor, it will rotate at half its speed. So that is why frequency is important. So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly is frequency. And if you have any questions, then please write down in the comment box. And don't forget to like and subscribe.